The biggest resettlement of refugees since 2005. Just last week, nearly 120 Afghans made their way to the St. Louis area, with 300 arrivals expected in the following weeks. Organizations say they're doing everything they can to make them feel at home. Five on your side, Justina Cornell joins us in studio to share what's needed to make sure that happens. Justina. Yeah, and so right now, housing is probably the biggest thing needed. The average size of families coming is about five people, but there are larger families, which makes it harder to find a home. However, organizations are finding solutions and working daily to accommodate these families as best as they can. As owner Mohamed Kadade assembles falafels, he knows it's more than just creating a meal. Each bite is making an impact. The American Falafel founder partnered with two organizations helping Afghan refugees. I visited a lot of refugee camps, worked with a lot of governments. So I've seen firsthand the kind of suffering and hardship that refugees go through. And that's why I really wanted to help them. And I want to want to see them integrated into the St. Louis community. Through a donate a meal option, all of the money will go directly to the International Institute. Funds needed for the influx of Afghans here. We had 123 resettlement in one week, which is totally unprecedented. We're approaching 300 now. We received them and we put them in transitional housing, transitional housing as hotel rooms. New arrivals are placed in three hotels currently. That's because housing is needed. We need apartments that are three to four bedrooms and it's hard to find, but we need approximately about 200 of those apartments. Plus a set of extra hands. 40 volunteers a day are wanted. From airport pickup to apartment set up to um, um, following up with people for appointments. As for the folks at the House of Goods, they've already been doing the heavy lifting for six days straight. We've been delivering them uh, hot meals, clothing, hygiene products um, to three different hotels where they had been placed at. They are larger families. One family has uh, 11 children. The charity house is under the Islamic Foundation of Greater St. Louis, and the task manager believes it's their staff that's able to make our new neighbors feel a bit more at home. Us as Muslims, they felt they felt more secure to move. We ensured them that everything was going to be okay. Now, transportation is also needed. The organization Welcome Neighbor, STL, is raising $5,000 for Uber and Lyft gift cards. This would not only help arriving refugees, but also WashU students who are needing a ride to the International Institute. These students will tutor those needing to learn English. Now, I'm told these efforts of resettlement will continue into March.